It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3. And welcome, rugby enthusiasts, to an electrified segment today. We're honoured to have former Springboks, Jacques de Jong, as well as Rudy Page, joining us to discuss the hit podcast Behind the Ruck and dive into the thrilling Rugby World Cup 2023 quarterfinal clash. Unbelievable. Right, gents. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Can't waste it. Can't waste it. So thank you very much for that intro. That's fantastic, I must say. Oh, man. <laughs> From the penny. I, I was going to ask, now that you guys are colleagues on this side of the, of the camera, yeah. who has to carry who here with this oh, thing? Let's just no. please be honest here. Who's the talent? Uh, and he's filling up the no, bench. I eh? think we've got different roles. Yes, yeah. he's 50, yes. 50. Uh, So what are you like going? Six two splits on the bench? Ooh, or is, oh, are you, oh, like a marriage, four four. Four four, four, four. four. Yeah, so oh, really? Like a marriage. Yeah. He's got something different. I mean, it's light enough. I can carry. But we can stop it, sir. Just checking. Guys, congratulations on the podcast launch. We can see the traction that you're getting, which is great. Has it been as fun as you thought it would be? Has it been terrifying? Has anything about this journey surprised you? Mm. It's been a lot, to be totally honest with you. It's a lot of new stuff that we're obviously learning. It's about framing <laughs> when we're sitting down that yeah. I never knew about. Yeah. It's about the mic distance. What's it, four fingers? Yes, four fingers. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's all the new stuff that we got to learn. But I oh, think um, we found it really nice. We've really enjoyed it, yeah. the journey so far. Every week presents new challenges, and mm. we're obviously taking that on in a stride. After you, you're doing an, a phenomenal job. Oh, thank well you. done, Appreciate man. It, yeah. I think now you get a chance to on this platform, because you know that Expresso is on YouTube all over the world, Make right? you famous, yo. So are there any international players on the podcast soon? Or if mm. not, do you want to make that call out? Because I know that you have some, some bucket list players as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We spoke about it last time. Yes. Um, yes. We obviously had um, uh, international rugby players that we want to on, on the show, yes, like yes. Legends in Goats of the game. Yeah. We, we, last time we said Brian Abena and Dan Carter. We have Brian Abena. We have Brian Abena on. Yes. Okay. Yes. Episode yes. 11. So, um, yeah, especially for him. Episode yes. 11, especially for the best in the 11. And, and he's been honoured yeah. by World yeah, Rugby yeah, yeah, this yeah. year. He literally, so, he's been, now finally we can say, yes, he is the GOAT. He is yeah, the guy. Yeah. And when you see him do his thing, Again, yes. that's what I love. Whenever these these moments emerge yeah. again, and you get to see him finishing. Yeah, he can he can talk. Yeah, huh? he scored some lovely tries, but now he's a man of thousand words. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> and, and a thousand bucks, but he's doing <laughs> yeah, some big big yeah. things, man. I absolutely love it, yeah. guys. Um, We've got the small matter of two <laughs> World Cups happening at the moment. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm feeling, and of course the the cricketers are like, we also here yeah, winning like everything that we're doing uh, and breaking yes. records. Sure. The, now is the time to get behind the South African brand. I feel it. We've got a massive weekend coming up. We've spoken sure, about yeah. Dupont coming back into the team. I don't think anything was going to stop him from healing and uh -huh. making himself ready for that. From a South African perspective, we don't care who we're playing against because our system been... seems dialed. In and within that superstar players like a Kane and Moody having yeah. the freedom to be, yeah, and still fit within that system. It's starting to feel like sevens. I'm talking yeah, about yeah. sevens here a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> how are we feeling about this match? Yes, I must say we're super excited. Um, do you have Andre Pollard back? Do I have Lukanya Am back? You know, just in, into the squad, even though if they're not going to play, or maybe they play, it's going to make a massive difference, yeah. especially with those youngsters you, you called out. So, we're not too, we don't, I mean, from a spring, springbok point of view, we don't want to watch. The, the friends team too much yeah. what's happening over there obviously they said Dupont is going to be back for semi-finals but you can't get to the semi-finals if you, if you didn't win the yeah. quarter final yeah. so, um, so, so yeah it's going to be a massive massive game on Sunday yeah. who's playing? Mm. oh that's, that's probably on everyone's lips eh? yeah. I don't know what, which way Rush is going to go with 6-2 which the two of us are hoping four, for four. Yes. Um, we obviously want the extra back on, on the bench. It just gives us a bit of versatility and a bit of more options, especially in such a big game. We don't want something to happen yeah. in the game, which is obviously out of the control of the coaching staff. So hopefully Rashi will go 6-2, bit of extra cover, put in an extra 9 or 10 on the bench. But I think as, as a country, we should be really confident going yeah. into this game. I think the team knows exactly how to win rugby games. They've got an identity in the way they play. Yeah. And I think mm. that is the most important part. We don't have to guess. We don't have to worry. I, I'm really confident. I think yeah. the two of us are yep. very confident you, that the box. This is the first time you've agreed mm. on anything. I yeah, think, yeah, right? yeah. It was That's of the debate huh? on the show. It's just, yeah, we just need to keep the space. Otherwise, the fist, you know, we don't want to get there. <laughs> so, so semi-final was. Uh, what are we looking at here? So we've got, you know, so we got this is uh, <laughs> Wales going through. <laughs> uh, Ivan me. beating New I've Zealand. Got Wales. He's got Argentina, and then we both on <laughs> Ireland, and then we both on England, and then we both on South Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, my, my, actually what I'm thinking is what, whoever wins Saturday at 9 o'clock against Ireland, New Zealand, and wins Sunday 9 o'clock. That's the final. That's the final. That's the final. That's the final. That makes sense to me. Not to South say, Africa, Ireland. Yeah, no disrespect. <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Because that game in the pool stages was fantastic. Yes, you know, it the was. The hype around it, the game around it was fantastic. It would be nice to see that in yeah. the final again. I think either way, this is the first time it feels like the South Africans deserve to win this World Cup. It's not like a, yeah. okay, we've got to elevate our play yeah. to get there. We've got to do something special. A star's got to put his hand up. I kind of feel like we deserve it. Yeah. Whether we win it or not, I, oh, I'm going to be hurt if we don't win it, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. um, but I feel like this is our best chance. Can you take us out of out of the game? Uh, well, I mean, we've got two commentators <laughs> over here. You know, that's sort of thing. That's what, uh, do you want to just do a quick commentator voice to get people to support your podcast? Let's go. Hey, this is Behind the Rock. Guys, this is your number one rugby podcast on all the social platforms. Go check our episodes out on YouTube, and Facebook, Facebook. And all the other stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you can't miss it, guys. Mm. First of all, Friday mornings, you start it the right way, okay? Yeah. It's Book Friday. You start it with Behind the Rock. Yes. Like, share, subscribe. Do your thing. Thank you. See you. Um Unbelievable. Beautiful <laughs> stuff there by the two guys here. Make sure you stay with us. Your feet good breakfast show. Rachel and S3 as we go to one very, very good player. Zoe with Tri-Time and Newstar.